It's James Murray from Net News Ledger sitting in the studio on the telephone is Minister Greg Rickford, Canada's Natu Natural Resources Minister. Minister, we're not talking natural resources yet. The Conservative government has just passed its crime bill on firearms. What do our readers and viewers need to know? Well, in addition to being the Minister of Natural Resources, uh, uh, James, and for the purposes of talking about the Common Sense Firearms Licensing Act, I'm the Member of Parliament for the Great Kenora Riding, where this uh, act uh, and the issues it addresses is tremendously uh, high profile and I'm also a gun enthusiast, uh, a member of the local gun club and a regular uh, out at that club sport shooting. So these matter, these issues matter uh, to me in a personal way. Um, there are, the, the Common Sense Firearms Licensing Act builds on obviously the dismantling of the long gun registry, but appreciably the Common Sense Firearms Licensing Act deals with uh, James, a number of key pieces that arguably were as important to people uh, as the long gun registry itself. I can highlight a few of them, but things like ending uh, the uh, paperwork and authorizations to transport uh, firearms um, uh, on a trip-to-trip -trip basis, now it's a condition of having a license. So routine activities that are lawful, such as transporting uh, restricted firearms to uh, go to a club for target shooting, taking a firearm home after a transfer, going to a gunsmith or a gun show or a Canadian port of export. export. Um, there's no longer a requirement to report that actual transfer. It's a condition of the license. Ending the discretion of the, um, uh, of the chief firearms uh, officer in, in, in key components of um, uh, decision making around what uh, reclassifying certain guns, um, merging the position, possession only and the position, possession acquisition license was a long standing thorny issue um, that was born out of the original bill C68, which m was marshaled in by another government a couple of decades ago, and who apparently uh, still feel strongly that the Long Gun Registry and this Common Sense Firearms Licensing Act um, uh, are, uh, uh, are not, uh, they don't support. So, so the government's basically taken an approach of trusting firearm owners more, taking some power away from bureaucrats, and probably in the long run reducing costs. Reducing red tape, reducing costs, respecting law-abiding gun owners. Um, in the normal uh, activities uh, uh, that they engage in as part of being a responsible uh, gun owner. Um, grace periods at the end of the five-year license period uh, to stop people from becoming criminalized for paperwork delays in license renewals. James, just getting rid of uh, uh, some of the, as I said earlier, uh, thornier issues around and administrivia around uh, gun, uh, lawful gun ownership. That said, um, there are serious elements of safety uh, built into this act. Uh, we are making it mandatory to take firearm safety courses in class for first time license um, applicants and amending the criminal code to strengthen the provisions relating to orders prohibiting the possession of firearms where a person is convicted of an offense involving domestic violence. So I think we struck that balance uh, protecting uh, public uh, safety is paramount, but in addition to that, uh, James, um, uh, dealing obviously with some of the administrative matters uh, and some of the discretionary elements of long, long gun ownership that were, in my view, and from what I've heard from constituents across northern Ontario, uh, troubling. Excellent. Thank you, Greg, on that. And I just, if I could, James, if you just indulge me, I just, I just really want to add uh, that I am extremely disappointed that NDP members of Parliament from Northern Ontario actually voted against the Common Sense Firearms Act. I mean, we've seen a number of them uh, vote against us dismantling the long gun registry, uh, but I was surprised that at a second opportunity, understanding uh, how important this issue was across northern Ontario and the impact it had uh, on those uh, on those members in terms of hearing from their constituents that they would voted the, that they would vote against it and I'm perhaps most troubled by John Rafferty who voted against the common sense firearms act his initial 
uh, vote uh, to dismantle the long gun registry seems unimportant now and reflects a complete failure to understand the matters outside of the long gun registry, which are as equally important to long gun, uh, law-abiding long gun uh, owners. I think it's a hypocrisy, and I'm equally concerned that as parties, both the Liberals and the NDP, uh, have made clear and concise remarks, both with respect to the long gun registry and to the Common Sense Firearms Act. They are opposed to them. Uh, and their leaders have said, uh, made statements that give us every indication, clear indication, uh, that they they would bring back uh, the long gun registry uh, if they were elected and um, and rescind uh, the Common Sense Firearms Licensing Act. Very shocking that uh, uh, members of Parliament from anywhere in Northern Ontario would um, uh, would vote against something that has uh, is understood and has the profile uh, uh, across Northern Ontario. So getting that message out to voters, of course, is important. That's right. Okay, Greg, thank you very much for taking the time. Okay. It's James Murray from Net News Ledger.